Friends, the output of a transmitter is of two types. First is linear function and the second is square root function. Now, it may be any transmitter, it may be a pressure transmitter, DP type transmitter, temperature transmitter or any other transmitter. Its output will either be a linear function or a square root function. Friends, today we are going to see the linear range calculation of a transmitter. It is very important for you to understand because even in interviews you may be asked this. 4 to 20 milliampere transmitter is used the most in industrial automation. Now, let us see what this 4 to 20 milliampere transmitter is. 4 to 20 milliampere transmitter is a current loop transmitter used for industrial sensors. These 4 to 20 milliampere transmitters are used for measurement like pressure, temperature, flow, etc. For all these, we use 4 to 20 milliampere transmitter. See, in 4 to 20 milliamperes, 4 milliamperes means the minimum value or 0% of the measurement range. And 20 milliamperes means the maximum value or 100% of the measurement range. Now, let's see why 4 to 20 milliamperes transmitters are used. There are two reasons for this. First is noise reduction. And the second is long distance communication. Now, let's discuss the linear range concept. See, if the output of the transmitter is varying linearly with the measured parameter, then that is the linear range of the measured parameter. Measured parameter means pressure, temperature, level, or any other parameter in terms of a sample. Like, if it is 4 milliamperes, then, at 4 milliamperes, it will show minimum pressure. And, at 20 milliamperes, it will show maximum pressure. If, the range of the transmitter is 0 to 100 bars, then 4 milliamperes will be the output at 0 bar, and, 20 milliamperes will be the output at 100 bars. The output of the transmitter will be linear between the minimum and maximum pressure. Minimum pressure means 4 milliamperes and the pressure will be maximum at 20 milliamperes. The output of the transmitter will be linear between these two. Meaning of linear can be understood from this graph. In this way, linearity will be there between the minimum and maximum pressure. Let us understand it better. Here we have shown a level control system. Friends, here we will use a controller, PLCDCS or PID controller. From controller, a 4 to 20 milliampere signal will be given to the control valve. This signal is passed to the positioner. The control valve will operate according to the 4 to 20 milliampere signal. When the control valve operates, the liquid will start going into the tank here. And, the liquid will start filling in the tank, now. To measure the level of that liquid, we have used a DP type transmitter. Here, DP type transmitter will continuously keep measuring this level. And, the 4 to 20 milliampere signal, will be sent back to, the controller as. Feedback, the output of the transmitter will be, 4 to 20 milliampere signal. And, it will vary linearly with the level, it is also important for you, to know. Where the transmitter linear range is applicable? It is applicable for level control, for pressure control. And in temperature control we use linear range. For flow control we use square root range. You should also note that the measurement range is evenly divided between 4 milliamperes and 20 milliamperes. Suppose, a pressure transmitter is installed, and, its range is, 0 to 10 kilograms per centimeter square. And, now there is no flow in the line, if, this transmitter is installed on any line. Then, normally what is shown here is, 
its line pressure, and, below the line of pressure readings, milliampères are shown usually. How much output is going out from transmitter? Now suppose, the pressure of the line has increased. And, that line pressure has increased to, 2.5 kg per centimeter square. So, how many milliampères will be shown here? Or, by increasing the pressure from 2.5, we have made it 5 kg per centimeter square. So how many milliampères will be shown here? It is very important for you to know this. Now we are going to understand, how this will happen, and how much it will be. Here again, you have to understand one thing that, the output of the transmitter will vary linearly with the change in pressure. That means, if the pressure is increasing, then, the output of the transmitter will increase, and, if the pressure is decreasing, then, the output will decrease accordingly. See, there is a formula to calculate, 4 to 20 milliampères. If you understand it, you can easily calculate 4 to 20 milliampères. It is a very simple formula, let's understand it. Milliampère is equal to 16. Now, where does 16 come from? It is 4 to 20 milliampères, so we subtract 4 from 20, so it becomes 16. After this, let x, means, where we want the output. Minus the minimum output range. Here, we can denote, the minimum output range as, x minimum also. And, here we can denote x as, x and, it is, divided by, maximum output range, we can denote it as, x maximum also. Minus minimum output range, we just saw, x minimum. And, plus 4. So this is the complete formula. Now, let us try to understand it in more simple language. Here, URV, is the maximum output range, means upper range value. So, we can put URV here, and, the minimum output range means, LRV. So, we can put, LRV here, in the range of the transmitter. You can easily understand, LRV, and, URV, from where the range is starting, it is, LRV. And, till where the range is ending, that is the maximum range, and it is, URV. So, it is very easy to understand. Let's understand it, with an example. Here, you need to calculate milliampères, which we had seen in the formula. At 5 kg per centimeter square, and, at 10 kg per centimeter square. If, the range of the transmitter is, 0 to 10 kg per centimeter square. Then, let's proceed to calculate. See friends, if the range is 0 to 10 kg per centimeter square. Here 0 becomes, LRV, which we had called, X min. And this, 10 becomes URV. This becomes, X max. And, the point at which you have to calculate the milliampères. This becomes, the value of, x next time, the value of x will become, this, 10. Let's put this in the formula, and, calculate directly. So here, how will milliampères be found? If, we see at 5 kg per centimeter square. Then 16, as told earlier, multiplied with 5, on which we have to calculate the value. Minus LRV, or, x minimum n. Here the LRV is equal to 0. Divided by, X max, means, URV, minus LRV, 0, plus 4. So, this is your complete equation. Let's solve it. It is very easy. 0 subtracted from 5, becomes, 5. Similarly, 0 subtracted from 10, becomes, 10, 5 to 10, will divided by, 2 times. And, 2 to 16, will divided by 8 times. So, 8 plus 4, becomes, 12 milliampères. This is your answer. In this way, you can calculate on any value, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2. Whatever reading you want, for this, you can put the value, and, calculate. Let's discuss for, 10 kilograms per centimeter square. The result for milliampère will be, 16, multiplied with, 10 minus 0, because, we have to calculate on, 10, 
So the value of x becomes 10 and 0 means LRV or minimum value. Divided by 10 minus 0 or URV minus LRV plus 4. It is very easy, you can solve it. Just like you solved the previous one, solve this in the same way. 10 to 10 will divide it by 1 time 16 plus 4 becomes 20 milliamperes and it will be the answer. Sometimes it happens that the value of current is given. Means milliamperes are given and from that we have to find the measurement value. So how will you see that? That too is a very simple formula. If you look at that formula carefully, you can find the value of x from here. That what will be the measurement value? x min means LRV plus I minus 4 multiplied by x max means URV minus x min means LRV divided by 16. Now we will take an example. You will understand completely if the output of the transmitter is 8 milliamperes and the range of the transmitter is 0 to 100 bars. Then, what will be the corresponding pressure? So, put it in this formula, your calculation will be done easily. What is the value of I here? It is 8. What is the value of X max? It is 100. What is the value of X minimum? It is 0. Put the values directly in the formula here. Then, you will get the answer. Let's calculate. Look friends, X min means 0 plus I it is giving us 8 milliamperes minus 4 multiplied by X max minus X min. If 0 subtracted from 100 then how much is left? It will be 100 divided by 16. Let's calculate. 400 divided by 16 equals to 25 bars we just calculated the values for pressure. Now, let's see for temperature. Suppose, there is a temperature transmitter. And, its range is, 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. Transmitter output is, 4 to 20 milliamperes. Then, we need to calculate the output current. Output current means, milliamperes. We need to calculate current, at, 25 degrees Celsius. And, at 50 degrees Celsius. It's very easy. Let us put it in the previous formula. Milliamperes, this is equal to 16. First we will write 16 multiplied by the value on which we have to calculate minus LRV. It is 0 or X minimum and divided by URV minus LRV plus 4. Then can find your answer. 25 to 100 will divide it by 4 times. 4 to 16 will divide it by 4 times and 4 plus 4 will be 8. Similarly, you can calculate for 50 degrees Celsius also. In place of 25, put 50 here, then from 50 to 100, it will be divided by 2 times. 16 divided by 2 will be 8 times plus 4. It's 12 milliamperes. It is very easy. Now friends, I will make a table and it will work for any range. Here, we have taken 0 to 10 kilograms per centimeter square. You can take any range. So, for that, I will make a table for you. Which will make it very easy for you to calculate. And from here, the questions are also asked in the interviews. You will be able to calculate directly. And, if you understand this method of making a table, we know, from where does the range start? It's from zero. So here we have written zero, and, what is the output of the transmitter? It's, 4 to 20 milliamperes, everyone knows. So friends, you will get 4 milliamperes at zero. What is the maximum range? It's, 10. How much will you get at 10? In 4 to 20 milliamperes, you will get 20 milliamperes at 10 kilograms per centimeter square. Got it. Now let's see the range in between. That is also very easy. 
Now just come in the middle of these two, see how much it will be? There will be 5 kilograms per centimeter square, in between these two. Here you will get, 12 milliamperes. Here in the middle you will get 12 milliamperes. Note this. Now come in between the above two values. How much is it? It is 2.5 kilograms per centimeter square. So now you will get it in between these two. How much output will we get? It will be 8 milliamperes. Now come in between the below two values. It is 7.5 kilograms per centimeter square. Now where will you get the output? in between these two and it is 16 milliamperes in between these two how easy is it so this table has been made very easily you can see this table once you change any range you have to write it here left side and this right hand side 4 to 20 milliamperes will remain like this now whether you write the temperature range or the pressure range or write any range you just have to make the change here so friends, this was our video, thanks for watching, do subscribe for more updates.